Uh, guys, I, I thought, um, first of all, I'd love to say it's, it was good to have a, a full team, um, a roster full of guys that obviously can go in the game. Um, I was I was glad to get CJ back, uh, not just because you know he's a leading scorer, but it's good to have him in the locker room. Um, you know, as he was going through his concussion protocol, it was tough to even have him in the games and, and in the locker room, and we needed some senior leadership on and off the court. Uh, that being said, I thought everybody that played the game, uh, one thing we talked about is being a star in your role. And I'm trying to get everybody to accept what their role is and, and be able to play as aggressive as they can in their role and be able to, you know, any given night because we don't have that one guy that can score 20 every night and somebody else can lead us. Uh, I thought DJ Funderburg was tremendous in the starting role. Uh, I wanted to reward him because he had played so great and he did a good job. And I thought Jericho coming off the bench game was a great lift um, and didn't put his head down because he didn't start. Um, you know, so many guys played well. Uh, was very happy with uh, Devin Daniels. Uh, I thought Devin was very aggressive, got to the rim, did some good things, made some shots. And uh, we don't talk a lot about him on the defensive end. Uh, we were able to press a little bit more, even though it was a little bit more man to man. Uh, that being said, uh, it helped us go on the three point line. A lot of times uh, teams don't shoot well against us because we press them and then their legs are wore off the last four or five minutes of the game and we haven't been able to do that. We haven't gone to the three-point line lately. Uh, one of the reasons is because we haven't been able to press. Uh, when you look at these guys, they were three for 16 and then uh, we turned them over 15 times, which I thought was a, a very good positive for us. Um, we came into the game, wanted to take away the big three uh, or at least one of the big three and I, I thought we did. Uh, when you look at Mugusti, I think he only had two points. We knew that uh, if all three of those guys played well, it would be a long night for us, and I thought we did a good job taking those guys away. So, questions? Kevin, CJ said he was almost happy that he took – it was a blocking foul on Rodney Miller. I said he couldn't get picked on Chris Likes. Were, were you, he said he's happy that he was able to get up. Were you – did you hold your breath at all, or did you interpret that sequence as not so great for – First game back. Well, you know me, Joe. I'm wondering why I wasn't charged. Uh, I don't know why. No, I, you know, I once they once he was cleared, man. I don't worry about it anymore. I just let him play, and it was um, for him. It, it probably meant more to him than anybody else in our locker room to take a hit and to be able to get up and, and not feel a little bit funny about it. And you know, uh, but I was bagging the referees. I thought it was a charge, but I'll go back and look at it and see what it was. It was a charge. I don't know if it was or not. Early on, a lot of your guys' shots weren't falling, but. The guys in the panic. What does it say about the maturity of this team and what you're able to do on defense? Well, we we had Bridget before we hadn't done that, um, and when our offense was not going, we would struggle. Um, tonight we matured a little bit because we relied on our our defense, even though our offense wasn't scoring. You know, in the last few games when we wasn't scoring, we we suffered and we gave up too many easy baskets. Um, we talked about building on that. We talked about the maturity of this team. Uh, it's so tough on us because it's, it's weird. And I know a lot of coaches can say this across the country. I haven't had this full team together for the majority of our losses, uh, which is tough because you wonder if you do, if you had them, would you have lost the game? You know, can't we, we wouldn't be able to tell by that. But certainly we want to try to get these guys together and build on it and mature from it. That's what I want this group to do. They, they've got to grow up fast. Uh, the ACC comes at you really fast. The games come at you really fast, and I need them to grow up. Kevin, you mentioned starting DJ. What's gotten in there? I think he's just playing to his potential. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I never, and I, I used to tell the assistant coaches all the time, I was like, man, he's just not in great shape. And I think he's been getting in the gym, putting some actual rep in, and, and getting in better shape. You know, uh, early in the season, I didn't think he could play for stretches. If you guys remember, um, he obviously didn't play in the Georgia Tech game, but he missed a, a lot of time because he was suspended. And, you know, I, I didn't let him be around the program, so I think that hurt his condition. But I think it's now that he can play long stretches and he's starting to get in better shape and he's starting to play with confidence. He even hit a three. Is that his first three? Uh, no, first, in first, one, first one. First one in conference play, all right? Yeah. I think he was 0 for 6 in conference play. Now he's 1 for 8. And did he have one? <laughs> see what his assist is. So this is. This will tell everybody. He got one. Oh, man, two turnovers. <laughs> and, and the sky hook. And the sky hook. Was it a sky hook? Was it, was it the Kareem sky hook or was it just like a sky hook? Bill Cartwright. All right, I'll take a card. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You guys are funny today, too. <laughs> Coach, you talk about having the whole team together. Is this kind of how you envisioned seeing how these guys play, not just the style, but the result as well? 
Yeah, it is. Um, and I would love to obviously have at least one more guy in the rotation. Uh, you know, when we started the season, I was hoping that this team would have 10 guys that I could rotate in and out and be able to press the entire game on makes um, every time we scored. Um, but I like what we have. And I like the nine guys. And um, if I can keep DJ Funderburg at the four, I think it helps our team a little bit this year. Uh, that being said, that I need uh, Danny Dixon to continue to get better. He's getting healthy. We don't talk about him a lot because he doesn't play a lot of minutes, but he also was healthy. And so um, he was also hurt, so I wasn't able to play him at the five. I would use DJ Moore as a five. So if I can get those guys, Danny, to become more serviceable and do some good things and him and Manny play the five, I can utilize DJ a little bit more at the four. Coach Larnega felt like the fact that you started the two big men caused major problems for them. Their big men got in foul trouble, so they couldn't rebound, couldn't score inside. In the second half, you didn't use the two bigs together very much. Was that a function of mission accomplished? Or going forward, is it the fact that you really prefer four guards in one day, and that's what we're going to see more of? No, I, I think when they went small, um, I wanted the DJs, uh, uh, even though we play them at the four or five, he's a guy that can switch all five screens. And so they went kind of small and played Wardenberg at the uh, five. And so we went a little smaller with DJ at the five and just switched more screens. And it was more so uh, that I could get CJ Bryce some extra minutes to be able to play and try to get some game um, action a little bit. Going forward, uh, will you use the two bigs together some then, or, or will we see more of the one four? You have to wait till Saturday. <laughs> Every game's there. Ain't giving my secret away. <laughs> Kevin, how, how are you guys able to take McGusty totally out of this game? It seems like they're pretty much a three-headed monster if, all, if Lights and DJ also get along with McGusty. So you guys will, you guys will laugh at this. Um, the last three or four practices, um, we would go into the scout report. So I would say um, we were in practice three or four days ago, and I said, um, I told them these are the things that we say in a timeout. And I brought them all in. It was after they were all tired. And I said, these are the things that we say in the timeout. And I said, I may tell you that the score is 75 to 70. I may say, if they in man to man, then we're going to run X3 flow. If they're in zone, we may run zone one. I may tell you that we have two, my, two timeouts left. Uh, if they tie you up, don't call the timeout. It's our possession. And then, so after I said all of that to them, I made them spread out across the gym, and I gave them a test. I gave them all five questions that I asked for, and the bonus question is, what is the last key that I say on the board before they go out? Uh, the last key I always say is have fun. And so you guys, man, I, I will never release it to you, but you would have fun uh, looking at some of the answers. Like, I'll give you this, you can joke Manny Bates. I, I told him it was 75 to 70. So I, one of the questions was, how much are we up? Manny Bates said 19. <laughs> <laughs> So to go back, to go back to your question is, um, we're we're starting to understand scout reports because I realized we were spending all of this time and going through scout report and film, and guys didn't know to take their right hand away. That being said, 23 is a right hand driver. Uh, we wanted to put him on his left all night, see if he could be effective there. It worked for us tonight. Uh, I did the same thing the other day. Uh, Jay was JJ scouting. Um, JJ went through the personnel. As soon as we got on the floor. I went on the floor, I gave them five pieces of paper and said, tell me their, their height, um, their position, and what's their strengths. I mean, we had a couple guys, um, like Rodney Miller, seven foot tall, we had a couple guys said he was 6'4". And so, they don't pay attention. And so we've got to do a better job in the earth, they don't pay attention. And so, I'm not saying, I, I love my guys, their grades are good, they're doing a great job, but they, they lose focus after a certain amount of time and that's something as a coach that we all have to adapt with around the country. A lot of you guys have, um, you got kids or uh, nephews or um, nieces and, you know, these handheld devices right here that we're looking at, they change the game. And so I've been able to do that. So long answer, <laughs> but they're learning scout reports. How about this? <laughs> so what are, the, what are the questions you're going to ask for Saturday's game? I don't know yet. It's probably we're not going to be about the game. And what, what you, I tell you what you guys can do with me. Send a couple questions that you ask, uh, you ask them when you're in there, and I'll ask them, uh, do you remember what so-and-so asked you? And, but you got to send the answer what they said, too, so I know that. i got to give them a test every day now. I'm telling you, I have to. Next. I didn't follow that. You got 
guys should try that, I'm telling you. Try that with your coworkers. Try it with your spouses. 